Hello all. Welcome to my channel Codify with Sonal. Today we are going to do a very interesting lab. Uh, that is, we'll build a chatbot using Amazon Lex. So let's start and uh, please stay tuned till the end because it's going to be really interesting. So first understand what is Amazon Lex. Amazon Lex is a service built up by AWS which understands your conversational interfaces through voice and text. Okay. So it is a fully managed AI service with advanced natural language models to build design, to design, build, test and deploy conversational interfaces and applications. That's a proper bookish language. So what it does is it, it easily uh, understands your intent and automates simple tasks across many languages. You can design and deploy omnichannel conversational AI in one click without worrying about hardware or infrastructure. That's what AWS is all about, right? You don't have to worry about the hardware or infrastructure. And you pay only for speech and text requests with no upfront cost or minimum fees. So pay for pay per pay as you go pricing as I always say. So basically how it works. So it is powered by the same technology as Alexa. It provides you the tools with which you tackle to understand the deep learning problems, okay, such as speech recognition and language understanding through an easy to use fully managed service. So, okay, so what it does is it integrates with Lambda through which you can easily trigger functions for your backend to execute some business logic, okay. What is oh, this chatbot? It will not automatically send something else but it calls a backend service proper business logic is written to send you the response from the bot so once built your bot can direct can be deployed to chat platforms mobile clients iot devices you can also use the reports provided to track matrix for your bot it also provides you a scalable, secure and easy to use end-to-end -end solution to build, publish and monitor your board. So see what happens is you send some conversational transcripts and Amazon Lex automated chatbot designer is there. So it automatically designs chatbots using existing transcripts. Okay. Once you put the transcripts inside AWS and uh, inside Lex, then it will automatically understand your transcripts accord and it will have natural language understanding and deep learning techniques it has through which it will analyze the transcript and systematically group them to extract your intent. Like what are you trying to do? What you what are you requesting? What is the information related that you have to give? And it removes the overlaps and ambiguity. How by asking some couple of questions or something like that. Okay. So that's how it works. And uh, we'll see one more diagram. So suppose see uh, these are the main parts of the bot. The first is uh, intent is about the action you have in response to the natural language user input utterances spoken or typed phrases that uh, invoke your intent slots are input data required to fulfill the intent and fulfillment mechanism for your intent okay so see if you are trying to book a hotel so you will say to the chatbot i did like to book a hotel so first question should be which city right so that is about they are trying to understand the slots okay like they are trying to gain the information so that they can give you a proper uh, data so all this uh, what data are you leaving are you sure you want the book hotel in new york city so all this is basically they are trying to understand your uh, needs so that it can fulfill your uh, requirement so coming to the lab diagram what we are going to do today is we are going to log in into aws console we are going to create and configure resources on Amazon Lex and then let's test the output. So let's go to the AWS console. So here we are in our AWS console. So we'll go to Amazon Lex. Okay. Click on this. And you'll see here, uh, this is the one service which will help us to create the bot. So click here on create bot. And if you are, a, uh, if you want to check out with an example, you can also use this 
start with an example you can book a trip or they have already predefined the things you just have to select and create a board but now we'll create a custom one okay so say we'll create a bot called order pizza okay you can just say create a role with basic uh, lex permissions okay so it will create a new role and do you want the children to use this bot no okay and idle time out 5 minutes you can leave it as it is go to next it's in english and uh, will not be taking voice uh, interaction as of now so what you have to do is you have to select here none this is only a text based application we are not keeping voice one year we are keeping only text okay done so once you are done this you will see this intent okay so intent is basically uh, your purpose what you want to do with this bot you want to create a pizza order correct so we'll create the intent now okay they have already created an intent for us called new intent but they have not entered any details so let us do that so we'll give the name as create pizza order as the intent okay now you will have sample utterances in this okay the talk which will be happening in the bot so say i want to order a pizza okay add utterance second thing you want to add is if anyone says order pizza okay if uh, like what all options can the person have when they want to say for ordering pizza i want to order pizza can i have a pizza okay so these kind of utterances we have kept now we want if you just say you want to order a pizza the, the first thing they will ask you is what type of pizza you want right so first let us save this intent and now for this intent we will create slot so now go back here you can see slot types so click on that and try to create a blank slot type okay what do you check when you order a pizza size okay add it and now we want strict values okay we don't want customer to enter i want uh, a 5 inch pizza or something right we want them to have fixed one so that they are okay and the bot understands the things well right so we'll add it as small regular and large okay save the slot type okay so uh so now we'll add one more slot okay that is pizza toppings so let us keep it as toppings if anyone wants to add any extra topping okay again we'll restrict the value here say golden corn what will do you like add that okay so say olives extra cheese everyone's favorite right extra cheese and whatever you wish okay so you can just add this save the slot type again now we'll go back to our pizza order intent okay and now here we have created the slot types right so we will add the slot types over here okay
size and see we have created custom ones okay so the question should be what size okay then we will create one more slot here because we had added toppings right so you can give the same name no problem and you have to select here from custom slot type toppings so if you're creating a, a different board say suppose you want to book a hotel or something so you can or book flight slot so you can use this in built-in also they have lot of built-in formations as well okay now we will have to ha add a fulfillment okay fulfillment is on success what message should be presented so you can say order placed successfully for now to mention the correct uh, things like what size they have mentioned okay size pizza with toppings as and you can just type your toppings and in case of failure something went wrong you can just give it okay once you are done this save the intent so we are ready to build our path okay so let's go ahead and build it it will take some time so our bot is built and now let's test this okay so our first thing was to say order pizza okay so it will ask you what size pizza you want so i see abc so it will not accept it correct so is a small what toppings i want uh, i say golden corn see that's it you're good to go for your bot try it out if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section below hopefully today's session was uh, useful and you might have enjoyed it if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment box also let me know what kind of labs or what kind of services would you like me to explain or do a live demo on if you are interested in checking out aws cloud practitioner or solution architect certificate guidance or practice series it is there and the links are in the description box go ahead check it out guys so stay happy and let's codify with sonal in the next video Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Do not forget to hit the bell icon to get a notification of the updated video. Thank you.